Okay, let's talk about covered interest arbitrage. So this is kind of the given information. I just want to walk you through the spreadsheet and what you would see on the test. So I would say something like the current exchange rate is going to be $1.3 per euro. So you need to find what the theoretical futures price is going to be. So the futures price in 12 months is going to be the $1.3 per euro times 1 plus a U.S. rate of 4% divided by 1 plus the foreign rate or the euro rate of 3% over the number of months divided by 12. So if this were six months, that would be a six, and there would be a six on the top right there. And this is going to come out, and I'll leave you know, the extra decimals off here. That's the $1.31 per euro. So this is the theoretical price. That's what it should be. But you look out and you observe, so I will tell you, you observe here someone saying, look, and I'll put actual here, because someone is willing to make a deal and they're willing to buy or sell euros for $1.35. So just like you're willing to buy or sell a hamburger for $1.35, you're willing to buy or sell euros for $1.35. So the question is, did you short the futures or long the futures? It should be priced at $1.31. It's priced at $1.35, so it's priced too high. If it's priced too high, you want to sell it. So at time zero, you want to short the futures contract. By the way, just looking at the spreadsheet, when you see this yes, you do stuff on this side. See the no, then I know it's kind of a clunky spreadsheet, but do the no, then that's irrelevant. So today, I short futures. That means at expiration, so at 12 months, shorting futures means you've sold. So you're selling euros just like you would be selling uh, corn or anything else. So if you sell something, you're going to receive dollars. And when you're selling, you're essentially paying euros. Okay, so when you short the futures, um, what you want to do, since you're going to be paying euros in the future, you want to you want to have those euros to pay so you can receive the dollars. So in order to have those euros to pay, what you do is you borrow dollars and convert to euros. Then you invest the euros. Now you can pick any dollar amount you want to borrow and convert to euros. Any dollar amount you want to you know, in life. And on the test, I'll tell you to borrow a hundred of the currency. So you want to borrow a hundred dollars and convert that to euros. So let's think about the math of how you would do that. Um, let me do that over here in red. So think of it this way. Would you say a hundred dollars times one point three dollars per euro and that equals a hundred and thirty dollars squared per euro no that would be wrong right you can keep this straight <clears throat> by knowing how you know, keep keeping the symbol straight there so a hundred dollars times um, one over one point three dollars per euro which 1 over 1 1.3 is 0 0.7692 so it's a hundred dollars times 0 0.7692 euros per dollar which is equal to 76.92 euros so we borrow the 76.92 euros we invest them and we have no cash flow to start with. So when we invest that, we're going to receive euros and the receive euros is going to be 
0.92 times 1.03 because that's the foreign rate, correct? And it's going to give me um, which one is it? Receive or seven um, seven point nine two three euros. Uh, by borrow dollars, so if I borrow dollars, I'm going to have to pay pay dollars to get rid of the loan, and that's a hundred dollars times 1.04, which is a hundred and four dollars. Okay, so let's make sure we get these cash flows. You're borrowing a hundred dollars and converting it to euros, so it's 76.92 euros. And then you invest those euros, so you have a zero cash flow here. So you've invested this in the foreign currency. You will then receive this much foreign currency in the future, but you borrowed $100 to do it, so you have to pay $104. So that's paying off the loan right here. That's receiving... Um, receiving the proceeds of your investment right there. So these two, this is unwinding the futures contract. So what you want to do is you want to have, you've entered a futures contract to sell 79.23. So you've entered the futures contract to sell 79.23 euros. Where does that number come from? You know if you borrow 76.92 and invest it, you will have 79.23 at the end of the time horizon. So you enter a contract to sell exactly that number. So if you sell 79.23 euros for 1.35 dollars per euro you wind up with 106.96 dollars and so your net position is 296 okay let me get rid of this and we'll look at the same thing but the the other side of the transaction so hang on just a second okay so everything's the same here except the futures price being offered is 1.25 dollars per euro. So same theoretical. Um, so you see the no here. So for the spreadsheet purposes, you know you don't want to use that side of it. But let's walk through what you'd want to do today and what you want to do in 12 months. Well, the the, the theoretical price is a dollar thirty one so this is what it should be this is what it is so you know the thing is worth a dollar thirty one but selling for a dollar twenty five you want to buy it so you want to go long futures if you go long futures near the contract there's no cash flow so what happens if you go long futures well that means that you're going to buy it in the future so you're going to pay <clears throat> dollars and receive the foreign currency, receive the euros. Right? So now you know that you're going to be paying dollars, right? Um, so if I know I want to pay dollars, what I do is I borrow the foreign, borrow the euros, and convert dollars and then invest dollars. The reason I do this, I know I know in the future I'm going to have to pay dollars, so I want to have those dollars coming into me guaranteed. So I borrow euros. Um, I'm going to do this based on a hundred, um, borrowing a hundred euros. So borrow a hundred euros, and the price, the spot price is 1.3 dollars per euro. So I convert that to $130. All right, so that's important, right? I borrow 100 um, euros, convert to dollars, and I have $130. Then I invest the $130 in the U.S. risk free rate. So I have a zero pay right there. So this is this is what I do to unwind. Or I could say 
uh, execute. This is what I do to execute the futures contract. What about this? I've invested dollars, so I'm going to receive dollars. And I've borrowed euros, so I'm going to pay euros. Well, I've borrowed 100 euros, right? So I'm going to pay 100 euros times 3%, which is, make this negative, minus 103 euros. So that's this portion right here. I might have to pay off that loan. But I've invested $130 at 4%, so I'm going to receive proceeds of $135.2. All right, so with the <clears throat> futures contract, I am long futures which means I am buying euros, right? So I have it set up since I'm buying euros. I want to be able to pay off this loan. I want, I've decided I want to have a receipt of the futures of 103 euros. So contractually, where is this number? Where does this number come from? This number right here? Well, I know that I'm going to be borrowing in a foreign currency, and I'm going to have to pay this much money back on that loan. So I want to be buying that, and think of it not as money, I'm going to be paying 103 bushels of corn. I've borrowed corn, and I'm going to pay 103 bushels of corn. I've borrowed euros, and I'm going to pay 103 euros. So I enter this contract to buy 103 bushels of corn. I enter the contract to buy 103 euros. So if I want to buy 103 euros, that means I will have to pay 103 euros times 1.25 dollars per euro, and that's going to be paying 128 dollars and 75 cents. So just to recap, um, let me get all this, uh, that's on the same level, so I can't get it away. So just to recap real quick, um, you look at the theoretical price, you compute this theoretical price right here, you compare it to the actual. It's too low, if it's too low, you want to buy, so you go long futures. If it were too high, you would want to short futures. If you go long futures, what are you doing? You are buying the foreign currency in the future. So you're buying the foreign currency. That means you're paying dollars and receiving the foreign currency. Just like if you were long corn, you would be paying dollars and receiving corn. So this portion right here is unwinding the futures contract. Well, I'm going to be paying dollars and receiving euros. So what I'm going to say is I want to lock in the amount of euros I'm going to receive. So the way I do this is I'm going to borrow the euros, convert to U.S., invest in the U.S. So how much do I borrow? That's where I start. I'll say you need to borrow 100 units of the currency. So you borrow 100 euros, you're going to pay back 103. So since I'm paying back 103 at expiration, I want to have a contract that gives me the right to buy 103. So I'm paying back 103 euros from the loan. I'm investing in the U.S. The $130 in the U.S. I get back $135. And now to purchase the 103 euros, it's going to cost me $128.75. $128 and that's covered interest arbitrage.